My name is Paolo Boselli, and I will present to you today Grappa Marolo and Milla. First of all, what is Grappa? Grappa is the Italian spirit, the legal term of the Italian spirit made with the pomis. What is pomis? Pomis is what remains from the pressed grapes. In other words, when you make wines, you get the must, the juice, and the juice becomes eventually wine. What remains a solid portion is called pomis. Well, grappa is obtained from the distillation of pomis. Today we will present to you four different grappas plus a liqueur, a magic liqueur. In order to make this presentation we will use this magic chart. It is called grappa marolo flight. The first one, the first circle, is presenting Brunello, Brunello di Montalcino, the second Barolo, the third Moscato, the fourth Moscato aged five years in barriques, and finally the, this magic liqueur called Milla. Here you have the box of Milla and now let us start to taste the grappa. I will use this uh, tulip glasses. I will put in the first circle where there is Brunello, second Barolo, third Moscato, fourth Moscato aged, and finally Milla. Okay, in the first one I will use the miniature of Brunello. I will put just a touch and I will have the second one which is Barolo. By the way, you see here the uh, picture of the Barolo featuring the Kingfisher. This is uh, the symbol of uh, Marolo production and a touch of uh, Barolo here. A third one, a touch of uh, Moscato. This one is the label of Moscato Grappa and here it is. I will have the fourth Grappa which is Grappa Dopo and it is aged, as I told you, five years. And what we have to do here is, and I stop over here, we'll have Milla subsequently. What we will do now, we'll go through the nose. In other words, we have to train our nose. First one is Brunello. And I put here under my nose the glass, just slightly. I don't swear. Because uh, if you swear, like you do with the wines, uh, you could offend your nose because of the alcohol. How much alcohol there is here? 84 proof, 42% of alcohol in all of these grappas. We are talking about 84 proof. So, here we catch the flowery impression. By the way, flowery and uh, I tell you that here you have a flower, the iris flower, minerality, the purity of this product, absolutely magnificent. I move again to the second, to Barolo, and here I catch the presence of a touch of vanilla. Why? Because Barolo here is aged about 40 months in barrique. So the third one is Moscato. Moscato coming out very strongly because of its unique and comparable, unique uh, flavor, unique aroma, the aroma of Moscato, fresh, fragrant. And by the way, if you ever had the chance to be in a vineyard and to harvest Moscato, if you ever had the chance to have a glass of Asti Spumante or a glass of still Moscato, you will have, like you have now, exactly the same impression. In other words, the identity of Moscato comes through all in all of these different situations, like it is coming through the grappa. Finally, we have here a unique type of Moscato. This Moscato is a Moscato age that was telling you five years, where there is an incredible complexity aged in which type of wood? in wood used to make a passito uh, in the island of Pantelleria. Moscato passito di Pantelleria. And now here we are. We have here Milla. Milla. Who is Milla? 
Milla is Milla, a magnificent liqueur, and the name is made from the last five letters of the word Camo Milla in Italian. By the way, do me a favor, don't say Grappa and Camomilla. When you are talking about Milla, just Milla. One brief consideration. Let us go through the nose of Milla and hear what we have. Many consumers recognize immediately the identity of chamomile tea. Some other consumers actually came to me saying, well, I recognize honey. Some others told me, I think that this could be Vinsanto. Or some others mentioned Sauter. Well, nothing of this is just Mila, plain Mila, unique, absolutely unique. And one very important point, it must be in every single bar. It must be known by every single bartender, by every single mixologist. And they can play with the Mila. They can play making cocktails or, if you like, one cocktail. One cocktail that can be a winner, can be a successful cocktail. Now we go through the tasting of the grappas. First of all, Brunello, Brunello di Montalcino. Just a touch of the tip of your tongue and you swallow it, pushing back the grappa to the back of your throat. And you will have at that point a retronasal perception through which you will have both the aroma and the flavor coming through. And the impression must be a gentle type of impression, must be softness, roundness, not the impression that the old age grappas were given to the consumer, like a gasoline, like a jet fuel. And it goes back and the aroma of Brunello, its purity remains there, Paolo Marolo says, for at least 30 seconds. I tell you much more. You move to the second one. This is Barolo. And in Barolo, through the nose, we perceived the presence of the vanilla or the wood. That impression is uh, even stronger when you taste the grappa. You move a third to the Moscato, and here let us see what we will find. First of all, through the nose we said there is this aroma of freshness, of a fragrancy. Absolutely magnificent, very gentle, very soft, and now we have here this sophisticated grappa, Moscato dopo. Impression of even sweetness. Impression of apricots, dry figs, incredible grappa. Finally, we have Mila. Mila is a liqueur made with a grappa di Barolo, actually grappa Nebbiolo, with the flowers of chamomile left there is an infusion for 11 months, adding sugar, and this is the result. Remember, there is only one Mila in the market, only one, and we sell 50% of all our products are made by Mila. When Grappa Marolo is sold to a bartender or to a storekeeper, store owner, it is sold forever. And remember this, that uh, the uniqueness of the product makes Milla a winner. A winner because there is no other product in the market, absolutely unique. It cools you off, it makes you feeling calm, relaxing, so you can enjoy just Milla now. By the way, you can have the white grappas that are 
the Brunello and the Moscato, even a freezer temperature. You can have Barolo or Moscato dopo, dopo means after the meal. You can have room temperature or on the rocks. How to enjoy Milla? You can have a Milla straight, you can have a Milla on a tumbler, on the rocks, and uh, uh, you can have it uh, with uh, some fresh squeezed lemon juice or even Milla on your favorite ice cream, on vanilla or chocolate. Enjoy!